Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the new patch notes that was dropped today. Update 1.23, patch notes 11. Now, with patch 11, it brings a bunch of new things. It's a sizable list of adjustment and fixes to Adventure Mode and Nuclear Winter. Now, I'll be leaving a link down below so you can check out these lovely patch notes yourself. Now for the patch highlights. Power Armor Improvements. We made behind the scenes improvements to the Power Armor system to help address lots of bugs. As a result, you may notice your Power Armor pieces have been moved into your inventory stash. Item descriptions, get a makeover. The description for legendary items, item mods, and crafting recipes now display all of their current attributes when viewing these items in menus. Nuclear Winter Balance Changes. As mentioned a few weeks ago, Patch 11 addresses some of the concerns we saw being reported in regards to certain packs like Frog Legs. Better experience for new players. We've made several changes to help new players ease into the challenges of the wasteland during the early hours of the game. These adjustments should make stepping out of Vault 76 a breath of fresh air and delicious libations. Patch 11 marks the return of the punch bowl, so party at your camps. Now, today's patch is around 5.5 gigabytes for consoles and around 2.5 gigabytes for PC. Now, under general, power armor improvements. Re rework of the underlying system behind power armor to address a ton of power armor related bugs. Improve performance and help the entire system function more smoothly overall. While most of these are under the hood improvements, we believe these changes will help you have better experiences and encounter a few issues while wearing your favorite set of power armor. As this brings a significant update to our power armor system, some players may notice the following one-time side effects upon logging in after downloading today's patch. Power armor pieces may have unequipped from power armor chassis you own and move from your stash to your inventory or vice versa. You need to re-equip these pieces after logging in. Some players may receive an extra power armor chassis or extra power armor pieces in their inventory or stash that weren't present prior to patch 11. These are items that didn't save correctly when you originally collected them and the power armor improvements mentioned above have restored them. Now, if you have one or more power armor chassis in your stash before installing patch 11, your character may be moved to a train station in the world. This was done to help players who became overencumbered due to power armor pieces and chassis moving into the inventory transfer those items back into their stash without needing to walk around from the current location in the world. Now under Arts and Graphics. Power Armor. A new animation plays upon entering Power Armor from a Power Armor station. Atomic Shop Feature Screen Rework. The Atomic Shop Feature Screen has received a facelift. Many more items and offers will now appear at once, making it easier to see the current set of features items at a glance. Basic Repair Kits. When purchasing Basic Repair Kits, players can now select which character they like to receive them. Under Camps, Crafting and Workshop, Bulk Junk. The Scrap All Junk option no longer automatically scrap bulk junk at workbenches. Bulk junk will continue to be automatically scrapped for necessary components while crafting or repairing. Punch Bowl Party On. Players can once again add alcohol to or drink alcohol from punch bowls. 44 Pistol. Nuclear materials have been replaced by gears in the crafting requirements for all 44 pistol mods except the prime receiver. Ski Sword, the crafting requirements for the skate mod have been reduced and the makeshift warrior perk requirements have been removed. Under design and gameplay, a loot legendary item dropped as loot by legendary enemies will now appear much quicker on that enemy corpse. Loot death claws have now have a chance to drop death claw hides on death and under loot acid can now drop as loot when killing cave crickets. Under respawn dying in an interior location such as the barrels now automatically respawns players near where they enter that location in most cases. Under spoilage all raw food items and fluxes now last 50% longer before spoiling. Fast traveling no longer causes food and drinks to take condition loss. And under stealth boy it can now be used while wearing power armor. 
under user interface under combat a slight a blurring effect now appears on the screen when taking damage to better indicate that the character experienced pain item description additional information is now displayed in the menus for legendary items mods and recipes when selecting a legendary item in trade vending or containing menus all of his legendary attributes now appear instead of just the first when inspecting a recipe or a mod the description of the resulting item now appears under the item's name when selecting a recipe or mod in trade, vending or containing menu, the description of the resulting item now appears above the item status. Under instruments, players can now rotate the game camera while playing musical instruments. Under map, improve map marker ordering and selecting to help address how icons are highlighted when several markers overlap each other on the map. Under purveyor, weapon and armor model previews now appear in the purveyor's trade menu when browsing item categories. Under settings, an enable power armor hood option has been added to the display setting which can now toggle to decide whether to display the power armor hood or the standard hood while wearing power armor and disabling this setting will cause the quick boy menu to display when viewing the pit boy now under gameplay improvements for new players we made a number of changes to the early game to help dwellers who are stepping out of Vault 76 better adapt to the life in the wasteland. Under camp deployment, redeploying a camp shortly after deployment no longer incurs a cap penalty. Under challenges, the reward for mainly early game challenges have been reworked and now award items that will help a new player survive, such as AIDS, weapon, armor, etc. instead of atoms. Disease, players must now be level 15 or higher to receive a disease. Enemies, some enemies' difficulties have been adjusted as sheep. The level range for creature spawns have been reduced from 15 to 35 to 15 to 20 in the following location. Bleaching Betty, Ashford, and the Rusty Pick. Under Savage Divide, the level range for creature spawns have been reduced from 15 to 99 to 15 to 25 in the following locations. Top of the World, Pleasant Valley Ski Resort, Pleasant Valley Cabin, Pleasant Valley Train Station, Nor Region Fisher Site Tow, Cliff Watch, South Cutthroat Camp, and Beak with Farms. Under Toxic Valley, the level range for creature spawns have been reduced from 10 to 25 to 10 to 15 in the following location. Coppleton Farm, Becker Farm, Grafton, Clarksburg, Easton Regional Pen, and Smith Farm. Under Events, Foil Soil now triggers in smaller areas and is confined to the Vault-Tec Agricultural Research Center. Under Fast Travel, caps costs when fast traveling have been reduced for players under level 25. Under Holotapes, government supply requisition holotapes will no longer spawn in flat woods and cannot be lo looted by players who have not yet received a level 10 or higher. And under Random Encounters, remove a random encounter that could cause a large group of level 5 protectons to spawn full level players on the roads of Flatwoods. Now under Nuclear Winter Balance, under Perks, Frog Legs Jumping in Rapid Succession now temporarily reduces jumping height and requires a short rest to recuperate. Under Master Perk Card, select Master Perk Cards have received bonus damage reductions. Commando Master, Heavy Gunner Master, Gorilla Master, Rifleman Master, Shotgun Master, and Demolition Expert. Now here's a death note. In general, these perk cards were too powerful and began to feel more like required picks than options. So we balanced them out to better reflect their cost values. Under weapons, explosive weapons greatly increases the damage that explosive weapons deal against camp objects and structures under a laser auto pistol. The laser auto pistol no longer fires multiple beams per shot. Under scope hunting rifle, reduce the size scope hunting rifle magazine from 5 to 1. Now there's a dev note. This change will help scope gunplay of this weapon feel smoothly and it does not negatively affect its DPS. Under adventure mode and survival mode bug fixes. Under arts and graphics, under environment, fix several locations where enemies could become stuck. Adjust a few objects that could clip into the terrain or other environment objects inside abandoned mine shaft the lane. Adjust the object in several locations where players could become stuck. Fix the issue that could cause a player to clip through a table in a garage in Sutton. And the security door latches on the shade across from street from Mama Dose is no longer floating. 
On the graphics, Trace Rounds fired by a hunting rifle with the Scorch Killer mod now displays the correct visual effects, and the art of the Cannibal perk no longer flickers when it is not actively being highlighted by the player in the perk menu. On the iBots, on the graphics, and the Architect Farmer Bio Labs, it has received updated paint to match other bots in the area. On the lighting, replace a light bulb above one of the bathroom stalls in the Watoga High School. On the camp crafting and workshops, blueprints, fix the issue that could cause some floating errors while trying to place a blueprint. Also address the rare issue that could prevent the player from building in their camp. Camps and workshop blueprints names now have sorted alphabetically in the list. Under cooking stove, the red enamel variant of the cooking stove now correctly indicates that it is an atomic shop item in the build menu. And exploit, address the exploit allowing players to place a camp in an unattended area in Charleston. Under fashion and objects, address the several fashion and theme camps objects to reduce instances that could result in its clipping. Under foundations can no longer be placed entirely underground. And under foundation, fix several issues relating to foundation that could result in areas like part of this structure would be inaccessible. Under keypads, fix the issue that will sometimes prevent player from performing certain keypads from being interactive. Under locks, players can now correctly change the lock picking difficulty of a lock object without needing to first remove the lock. Under Modify, repeatedly selecting the deselecting object in the Modify menu no longer sometimes causes the player to become stuck editing in the objects. Under Radios, now they play immediately after they are powered on. Under Repair, Pioneer Scout posters and banners can now be repaired. Wall Decor, fix the issue that could cause wall decor items to appear to float in certain situations. And address the issue that could prevent objects from being placed on walls correctly. Under Walls, Fix the bugs preventing a place a half wall on top of another half wall when it's placed on a foundation. Wavering Santa no longer continues to play sounding effects after it's being toggled off or becomes unpowered. Under Workshop, fix the issue where resource amounts in the UI will not update after repairing a workshop item outside of build mode. Under Challenges, General to Earn credit for challenges that require players to kill creatures, like the kill different types of tough enemies challenge, they no longer need to land the killing blow. When a creature is killed, players who dealt enough damage to earn experience will now receive challenge credit even if another player scores the final hit. Under combat, the reward display after completing the craft some ammo challenge now correctly lists gunpowder. Underworld, the metal worker possum badge. Sub challenge, visit New River Gorge has been removed. Fix the issue, preventing several musician possum badge sub challenges from completing correctly when playing various instruments. And Underworld, remove several photograph possum badge sub challenges that were difficult to complete and change the word collect to acquire in the collector possum bass sub challenges descriptions. Under enemies, AI implemented an improvement to help reduce cases where creatures could become stuck in a non-responsive state. Under English, fix the issue that could cause English to flee from players if it could not be reached rather than using its ranged attack. Under robo brains, it can no longer spawn stuck inside Protecton mods in Atlas Observatory. Sentry mods, legendary sentry mods, no longer explode twice on death, and ticks no longer are full of blood of bloodless enemies or structures. Under items, bloodied. Weapons with the bloodied legendary mod now displays the correct amount of damage it is in the Pip Boy as the player takes or heals damage. This was a visual issue and the mod's actual damage values have not been changed. Under Brain Bombs, Brain Bombs now correctly have a condition bar and can spoil like other food items. Under Exploit, address the exploit that could cause a magazine or bobblehead to become duplicated and address the exploit that could prevent the player from being killed by radiation damage. Under Gas Rifle, the Shield Barrel now description now correctly states that it provides superior range when applied. Under Handmade Rifle, the Drum Magazine mod for the Handmade Rifle now correctly increases the Handmade Rifle ammo capacity by 50% which is consistent with the drum magazine mod for other weapons. Under Iguana Soup, Iguana Bits are now required to craft Iguana Soup rather than Squirrel Bits. Marine Armor, the recipe for the dense Marine Armor Torso mod is now properly labeled. It's plasma Weapons, fix the issue that could sometimes cause Plasma Weapon attacks to pass through a target without dealing damage. Under Power Armor, the Targeting HUD mod for X01 Power Armor will no longer appear as an option in the Power Armor Station menu if the player has not yet learned the required plan. 
Also, when the Stealth Boy Power Armor Mod Stealth Field is active, its effective description in the Pit Boy effect tab now correctly lists that it drains action points. Broken pieces of armor will now remain equipped when exiting Power Armor. Repeatedly entering and exiting a set of Power Armor in a Power Armor Station no longer sometimes causes the players to become stuck in their Power Armor. And Syntax can no longer be used if the player's health is already full while wearing Power Armor. Under Plow, Snap Deluxe Camera, fix the issue that could prevent the player from transferring their camera into their stash. Pump Action Shotguns, applying the Responders paint to a Pump Action Shotgun, now correctly aids Responders to the weapon's name. Scorch Ashes, remove two piles of Scorch Ashes from the church and Halvita that could be consumed but had no other functions. Ultrasight Laser Gun, no longer appears to fire plasma projectile after applying the automatic mod. Under weapons, oil spoils can now be ignited by a wider variety of weapons. Now under quest and events, defend monogam power plant. Adjust the enemy spawns when defending the monogam power plant workshop so that attackers will approach from the outskirts of the workshop. Free range, address several issues that could block Brahmin movement during the free range event. Line in the sand. Scorch no longer began attacking Allegheny Asylum before the event begins. Adjusted a Scorch be spawned location during the event, and Scorch that are spawned during the event now more reliably receive quest objective markers. Under Possum Junior Robotic Tour, logging out before visiting the first tour stop no longer causes voiceover lines to replay when logging back in. Under Project Paradise, Fix the issue causing enemies to sign continuously during the Project Paradise event. Fix the issue that could cause moist red kelp to persist indefinitely in the player's inventory after completing the red kelp in Habitat C objective. Safe for work, remove a copy of the Patrol 4 Medical Center holotape that did not work correctly. The order of the tadpole, fix the issue that could prevent the player from restarting or completing the Listen to the Scout Leader Jackie objective correctly if they die while Scout Leader Jackie was speaking. Unsolved Picnic Panic, remove the extra copy of Mary Diary's page and address issue that could call result in lost quest progress or duplicate quest items. Now under Performance and Stability. Loading. Attempting to report a player while loading into a world no longer sometimes it causes an infinite loading screen. Under performance, reduce the time it takes to return to the main menu after leaving a world. And also address the performance issue relating to quest items. Under perks, perk train. The effects of perk train no longer hits NPCs or creatures who are not hostile to the player. Under sound, frog jar. Attempting to interact with the empty frog jar in the player's inventory no longer causes frog sound effects to play. Gunfire fix the issue that may all game modes that could cause gunfire sounds effects to loop endlessly. Under legendary exchange machines, reduce the volume of legendary exchange machine sound effects. Pioneer Scout swimming test, a voiceover processing have been added to the swimming instruction line that plays when the player attempts the test without a swimsuit. Scout Leader Jaggy. Voiceover processing have been added to Scout Leader Jaggy. First line of dialogue. Weapon impacts. The rolling pin, bone, cub, and ski sword now play sound effects that more closely match their weapon types when striking enemies. Under workbenches, tinker and brewing workbenches no longer play sound effects endlessly if the workbench owner leaves the world while it is being used by another player. Under user interface, under general, fix typos across several areas of the game. Under atomic shop, the atomic shop top navigation bar no longer remains visible behind the purchase confirmation screen when purchasing items. Also on Xbox, the left-handed category is no longer displays incorrectly and scrolling to the bottom of the list when you are going back up. Also under atomic shop, this issue where the need items prompted in atomic shop could remain visible when trying to back out of the prompt. Under change appearance, address a issue preventing scans color from applying to a character's face in change appearance menu. Under combat, using the quick swap button now more consistently switches to an alternate weapon and no longer swaps to broken or unusable weapons. Also, damage indicators now appear on screen when hit by a missile launcher, plasma gun, or other weapon projectiles. 
and hit markers will now correctly disappear when uh, damaging destructible objects such as the Strangler Heart doing the heart of the enemy daily quest. Under controls on Xbox, resetting their controls to default settings and then joining a survival mode world no longer sometimes prevents the player from accessing containers or workbenches and fix the issue that could cause the controls to become unresponsive when interacting with power armor station while sprinting with the range weapon equipped. Under drop loot, the directive to retrieve your dropped loot that appear on death will now only complete once all drop loot has been taken. Under Fermenter, condition bars are no longer displayed on items that have been assigned to a vending machine when viewing the item list from the Fermenter, and attempting to assign a fully fermented drink to the Fermenter no longer causes a camp budget related error message to display. Under HUD, removed a series of dashes that could appear in the top left corner of the screen when playing in 16 by 10 resolutions. Under Inspect, Weapons that have alternate appearance from their base models, such as Enclave and Ultrasight weapons, now display correctly in the Inspect menu. Under Localizations, the word Free is no longer truncated on uh, free items in the Atomic Shop when running the game client in languages other than English. Under Map, adjusted one icons so they are less likely to prevent interaction with nearby map markers. And a large Nuke Zone indicator will no longer appear over a normal Nuke Zone indicator on the map after switching to Adventure Mode from Nuclear Winter. Under Pacifist Mode, no longer enables for characters below level 5 in Adventure Mode after playing a Nuclear Winter match. Under Personal Terminal, fix the issue that could prevent currently available daily quests from appearing under the Biv entry in the Personal Terminal. Pit Boy Junk Items Component Count no longer displays zero in the Pit Boy Component View after joining a world. Under Respawn, players can now correctly respawn at their camps when they are over encumbered. Under Rewards, Ammo and other items are no longer sometimes split into multiple entries in the rewards list that appears after completing a quest or event. Under Scrapping, when choosing Scrap All Junk at a workbench, the component list now sorts alphabetically and fix the issue that prevented the sort of spoil option from working correctly in a container list. The vendor and trade menus. Additionally, the sort by spoil option now places the lowest condition items at the top of the list, so it's easier to find the items that are nearly expired. Under trade, the requested label now correctly gets paid in the trade menu. Under tutorials, the brewing station tutorial no longer reappears after disconnecting and logging back in. Also, under vending, if a player buys the same type of item multiple times from another player vending machine, like stacks of 308 armor, the seller will now correctly receive separate notification displaying the amount sold each time, rather than the total amount across all of those transactions. Under vending, when using a vending machine, the items assigned to the vending now correctly sort to the top of the list and fix the issue that could prevent players from scrolling through the inventory to mark additional items for sale in the vending machine. Also, fix the issue where vending information incorrectly cleared when the character is loaded, and fix the issue where sometimes player will remain in the player vending menu if the cat was moved or the vending menu was scrapped or stored. Now, under Nuclear Winter Bug Fixes. Under R10 Graphics, smoke visual effects in the storm no longer move in the wrong direction the first time the player area constricts. Fix the issue that could prevent nuclear blast effects from appearing in a third person view. Clouds in the storm no longer occasionally change color or flicker, and under grass, now visually it burns after the storm passes over the player. Under cap, lamps. When placed in player's cap, lamps no longer be activated during nuclear winter matches. Statues, heroes of the wasteland statues in the player caps can no longer be activated during nuclear winter matches, and under torts, they can now be correctly and deal damage to enemy structures that were built using a quick kit. Under environment, duffel bags, players can no longer walk through duffel bags dropped by other players on death. New River Gorge, address the object in the location in New River Gorge where players could become stuck. Under items, automatic laser rifles. Automatic laser rifle now correctly benefits from commander perks rather than rifleman perks. Duffel bags, players will now drop a duffel bag if disconnected. Exploit, address the exploit effects in the issue of Graniac the Bar Barbarian magazine.
Under minigun, the Shredder mod can no longer be used to damage or kill others during nuclear winter matches. Under power armor, adjusting the power armor spawn location at New River Gorge Resort to prevent potential animation issues. Players no longer sometimes appear to slide or float when entering power armor. And it also addresses the issue that could cause certain power armor paints to be replaced by the War Raider paint during nuclear winter matches. And Western Revolvers. Fix the issue that could cause a scope Western Revolver to incorrectly spawn as an unmodded Western Revolver. Under Performance and Stability. Login. Fix the issue that could cause some players to become logged out after every nuclear winter match. Under Stability. Address the issue that could cause players to become disconnected during nuclear winter matches when building in their camps. Under Performance. Implementing an improvement affecting memory usage. Under perks, Bullet Shield no longer displays its bonus resistant notification every time a player fires a heavy weapon in Nuclear Winter. Ground Pound fixed the issue causing Ground Pound to not work with automatic combat rifles. Last Laugh. Grenades drop when a player with Laugh Blast is down can no longer damage the player that dropped them. Under Lock Detector, it has been renamed Hack Detector to reduce confusion about the spray card functionality. Under Sound, Vault 51, the volume of impact sound effects has been reduced for punches thrown by candidates inside Vault 51. Now under User Interface. We have an exploit. Address an exploit relating to reviving another player. Localization. Fix the issue that caused three digit overshare ranks to display incorrectly in Chinese and Korean. And fix the issue in Chinese version that will cause the Storm's movement timer to display incorrectly while in spectator mode. Match summary. Team placement text no longer flickers when opening and closing the spectator menu on the match summary screen. Upon upcoming rewards, they are no longer missing icons on the match summary screen. Nameplates. Enemy nameplates and health now only appears to players who have damaged them within the last five seconds. Teammates' nameplates will no longer follow players when they are spectating. And revive. Fix an issue that could cause a revive attempt to fail even though it appears successful. And fix the issue, a rare issue, where players could be revived with incorrect amount of health. Under Select Deployment, a Select Deployment Location button will no longer display after a spawn countdown timer concludes. Under Social, on PS4, disconnecting and reconnecting while queuing for a nuclear winter match no longer causes issue with sign in or social menu functionality. And Sorting, the Sort by Spoil option no longer incorrectly appears in 8 items, can now only be sorted by weight. And last but not least, terminals can no longer be activated in the same amount that the select deployment location screen appears. So there you have it everybody. Thank you for sticking around. I know this has been a long one, but those are all of the patch notes. Patch 11 that was released today, July the 16th, 2019. So yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for this video. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, and if you want to help out the channel and the video, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.